Gregorian chant is different from modern music uh, in many ways, but in one key respect. Modern music, contemporary music, has a meter, a strict uh, timing at which it's sung or played. But Gregorian chant is uh, more free. The, the, the pace uh, is flexible to the interpretation that is given, uh, in the best sense, uh, to bring out the words and to truly proclaim the Word of God. As our monastic scola prepared uh, for this Sunday's communion chant, Amen Dico Vobis Quod Uni Ex Minimis, uh, we focused on one word uh, that may not seem all that important, and that's mihi, uh, to me. In English, this first line would read, uh, Amen, I say to you, whatever you do to the least of my people, uh, you do to me. Uh, and so as we practice this chant over and over again, we had to slow down the word mihi. And that's despite the fact that there aren't any episemas or indications for us to slow down. But the significance of the text made it clear uh, that the word mihi was important. What you do to the least of my people, you do to me, says Christ. And this is such a striking figure on this uh, solemnity of Christ the King, that he identifies himself in all of his splendor and all of his glory with the least of his people. One of my brothers mentioned to me that uh, this, this gospel text from Matthew 25 is the, only, is the only moment in the gospels where Christ identifies himself as a king uh, at the last judgment. Um, and in this moment, what is, what is the nature, what's the essence of his kingly power? Uh, the utter gift of himself uh, to everyone and to the least of his people. And this is important for me and for you and for, for all of us. Uh, those who are most in need in our lives, how do we treat them? Uh, we, uh, that's the way that we treat Christ. So as you listen to this chant that we'll, we'll sing, um, and as you pray this uh, communion uh, meditation on Sunday, we can focus on this word mihi as a very important indication uh, of who Christ is. Someone who receives uh, all of humanity uh, in all of its poverty and all of its neediness, and identifies with it, and advocates for it, and offers himself to it in the holy sacrifice of the Mass. Amen. Amen. 